internship program uh, during my graduate program, and I loved it. It was so beneficial. Um, you, you know, you have your classes and you learn what you learn in school, uh, but you don't always get that hands-on experience. You always um, you get the textbook and what's supposed to happen and you know that perfect step-by-step -step scenario and okay great I learned what I learned uh, but you do the you do an internship and things are different very frequently things are different than what you learn so I've always promoted and told everyone I know going to college or in college do as many internships as you can take advantage of it because you may um, think you want to do something and an internship either says oh, I didn't want to do that or I don't want to do that or it does the opposite and says, I love this. This is more than I thought it was going to be. So it really gives you a great taste of um, maybe what you do or don't want to do, but you get class credit for it. So how great, instead of going to class, I get to go to an internship and get real world experience, class credit, and solidify or maybe dissuade me from doing what I thought I wanted to do. Kind of long story short, I went into college with a justice studies major, uh, a minor in criminal justice. And then while in school, I heard about this certificate called Homeland Security. Um, and so I was like, oh, what, what does that entail? And I started taking some of those classes because I was graduating early, so I needed some more classes to fill my schedule. And I took this certificate. And in that I took uh, like a cyber uh, crime. I took a bunch of different classes relating to Homeland Security, but also emergency management. And it really opened my eyes to what emergency management was. And I was gonna go the route of, uh, I was like, I have to go to the police academy to maybe be a detective or, or get into maybe a federal agency. And I didn't really know, but that's what I thought I had to do. So then I find out about emergency management. I was like, oh my gosh, there's this group of people out there that just like handle problems. I mean, that's really what it is. And so I, um, I found out emer emergency management and I, uh, I took internships that kind of opened my eyes more and more to it. And I was like, I love this. This is great. It's a great group of people. It's, I'm great under stress. So I was like, I can do this. I'm good at it and I love it. So if you can find something that you're interested in, and have passion for, and you're good at it, it felt like a shoe in From the internship at DEMA into my current position at Honor Health, but even my position before this at the Arizona Department of Health Services, I made so many invaluable contacts that I would have maybe not never had, but would have taken me years to collect and develop these relationships. I met not only all of my contacts at DEMA, but so many contacts at the Department of Health Services and uh, fire and law enforcement and so many different contacts at different agencies that I never would have been privy to or, or received be if not for DEMA. Um, that's probably the most invaluable, beneficial thing I, I got out of DEMA was the contacts. But then also I learned incident command structure. I learned terminology. I learned just the appropriate etiquette and, and verbiage to use in this career field that would have taken a long time if not for actually getting emerged into it. Um, and it just really kickstarted my career because you, like I said earlier in some of my, I mentioned that, you know, you read all this in a textbook and Great, that's dandy, but when you actually go to work incident command or you actually get put into a position, you don't know what you don't know. So when you get to be there physically, I mean, I take that into Honor Health now. I have been in so many incident command settings where I'm running the incident command or I'm making sure the documents are filled out and I got the best foundation from DEMA. Students should consider an internship at DEMA because you couldn't find a better internship if you're interested in emergency management. Um, I got the best foundation, the best understanding, the best education out of my entire grad program at DEMA. The mentorships I received, the people I still keep in contact that I've never even worked with, but at DEMA I met them, they still check on me. I've worked with, um, maybe I've seen now in a different setting, but they're, they want to know how I am. I didn't just get professional contacts, I received friends and mentors, and I think that is so beneficial to someone who is young and trying to figure out what they're going to do in their career. Um, I would tell anyone that if you 
need the contacts and you need to know if this is really what you want to do or you want that real world experience because you know this is what you want to do, you couldn't have a better start than DEMA to your career. And if you continue down emergency management, you will always keep those same contacts throughout your entire career. I can't say enough good things about interning at DEMA. Um, I think every person, I've had a lot of uh, contacts uh, reach out to me via LinkedIn, kind of what I did. So I always promote and say kudos to people doing that. And I always persuade them to go to DEMA. I tell them that they should do it there. They won't, they won't make better contacts and they won't get a better taste of what emergency management's really like in the real world than doing an internship there.